been waiting for a long time. So I think David, you've got the mic. If I can come down here, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, because my understanding, the, the, the town hall says you'd like to know what the citizens want rather than to be hearing other things. Principles that, that I think are absent in the health care bill are one, truth about the content and the intent of that bill. Secondly, the requirement that the bill contain a provision that every congressperson's present special health coverage is immediately terminated and each is required to sign up for it. Expected to vote yes. Thirdly, that the bill under consideration should be uh, to be passed be composed of brief, simple, understandable text, not to exceed 80 pages. <laughs> the requirement of every congressperson to read and understand the bill and to certify as such before voting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I also like uh, reveal the names and the industry identities of the lobbyists who are writing the bill. Yes. Yeah. I believe it's important that the actual cost of this bill be revealed because it will undoubtedly result in an understatement of the cost of the program, just as the Medicare prescription drug program was reported to cost. $750 million a year, and the cost is $7 billion, $500 million per year. Also, uh, many of the clauses in the bill should be removed because they continue to expropriate the few remaining rights of our U.S. citizens while building the United States welfare state, wherein all residents will be dependent on the government instead of themselves and their personal productivity. Page number 16 of the bill at this time outlaws as illegal individual private medical insurance for any person who does not have their insurance the first day of the year when the bill becomes law and therefore no new policies may be written. This was touched on by the doctor and, and that's a very dangerous position. Another concern is that the health savings accounts will be eliminated by the mandate for buying government care so that citizens may not have choice any longer and they'll be forced into the government plan. So lastly, stop and think, why is it that if you cross into North Korea or into Iran illegally, you get 12 years of hard labor. But if persons cross the U.S. border illegally, they get a driver's license, social security card, free health care, 